I would love to ask you my favorite question that I am asking all the experts that I mean. Putin, Vladimir Putin, as a person, bad or mad? Do you believe he is just a bad person and he wants just, and he's greed for power and he's ready to do everything? Yes, but do you think that he's actually mad or he's very rational in his own realm? Uh, I mean, I can say he's certainly bad and we can look at him being bad before COVID yeah. when he was very evil and calculating. I don't, after COVID, I don't know. I hope that he's just bad, that he isn't mad. Julie Ioff had an entire discussion saying, look, he walls himself off mm -hmm. to avoid COVID and he just goes crazy from the isolation. I hope she's wrong. I hope he's just bad. He might be mad. In terms of the nuclear? In terms of nuclear, I don't, I don't think so. I think he might be crazy in terms of continuing to be in Ukraine. Yeah. I think that this was a terrible decision on his part to start the war. But I don't think he's going to go nuclear because I think he knows that if he does that, that's his last day in office. I don't know if you could, would be able to answer that question, but I will still ask it. Do you think what Russia is able and willing to give, I mean the Kremlin, not the Russia as a country, but the Kremlin and Putin's Russia, Putin's version of Russia is ready to give to China to get help that it needs, military help, financial help, political help, any help from China? I think the Chinese have been well warned by the American government that they should not assist Russia in this, that that would have serious consequences. I am concerned that Chinese companies are building the weapons that are being used to kill Ukrainians because the Russian military uh, industrial capacity just isn't there. Uh, but I still think that China Uh, does not want to actually come out and publicly do a lot of this because they know the consequences that they'll face. Uh, you know, insofar as Russia is turning to North Korea to build artillery shells, you don't phone North Korea until you're very desperate. Yeah, absolutely. You're getting the same Russian shells, just outdated. Yeah, but quality of North Korean manufacturing This isn't Switzerland. They're not. This, the Rolex is not making these shells. You know, they're they're desperate. Putin Putin has himself in a corner. I will make a statement, and you please say if you agree with that. Um, is Ukraine to the West the same as Russia to the China? Isn't that true or not? No, because. Russia's relationship with China is just so much different, right? Russia and China are two uh, dictatorships, each of whose dictator only cares about their own personal survival. Whereas uh, the West sees Ukraine as a fellow democracy and wants to do what's right for Ukraine and is willing to, and is trustworthy And we see Zelensky not as a Xi Jinping, but as a Winston Churchill. Vladimir Putin and The Hague. Do you think this is going to happen? Is there any chance, a real chance, that Vladimir Putin will be sitting at the bench in The Hague and tried for all the criminal warfare, all the monstrosities and atrocities that he has done here and his army has done here in Ukraine? Do you think this is what is going to happen? You know, absolutely, I, I, I absolutely wish that would happen. I absolutely think he should be tried uh, for his crimes against the Ukrainian people. But unfortunately, Putin, you know, keeps power through fear. He knows uh, that if he ever leaves the Kremlin, uh, he'll be killed immediately. He knows the only way out 
is he's carried out in a box whether he's carried out because he dies of natural causes or whether he's carried out of there because the Russian people overthrow their brutal dictator, uh, I do not know. But I think that there is very little chance uh, of him ever leaving the Kremlin alive. The other side of this question, do you think that responsibility for everything, for the atrocities of this warfare in Ukraine, is actually the... Uh, 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 the Russian nation should be held accountable just as well as, 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 as its star, Vladimir Putin. Do you think that is the case? Do you think that that, that is happening? You know, I mean, I'm friends with a lot of uh, Russian dissidents, Russians who are just appalled by their government's behavior. And perhaps it's just my, the, the sample of people I know. But I don't necessarily think all Russians are responsible for this war. I think there is one particular Russian, Putin, who bears chief responsibility. And then his generals, the, uh, the, the security services, those people bear responsibility. But I'm not sure that individual Russians who aren't, don't have the ability to stand up to Putin necessarily uh, have moral culpability here. I think the culpability uh, lies with the people who committed these actions, which is Putin and the Russian military. Well, that is uh, undoubtedly, well, yes. But uh, Putin didn't come from Mars. You know, it changed, I mean, he, a man comes and then changes the, 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 the constitution. He literally changes the constitution. He does what he wants, and the Russian nation is okay with it. For 25 years, a quarter of a century, there was uh, the, it's the Tsar, it's not the leader, and you it's usurping power. I'm every, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, but you probably understood what I wanted to ask. I mean, the 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 the, the, the nation should be held accountable for having Putin in place and usurping power and changing constitution and doing so for 25 years in a row. Is that right thing? Uh, you know, I can certainly understand Ukrainian anger towards Russia. I haven't lived through what you've lived through for the past 15, 16 months. Uh, but remember, the you know, Putin did seize power. The Russians have at times tried to remove him and have been unsuccessful. So I think the Russians that support Putin, there's culpability there. But I don't think every Russian is to blame. I think it's the Russians who are supporting their evil czar, not everyone. 